Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked if f of x is equal to x squared if x is rational and 0 if x is irrational, prove that the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x equals 0. So let's just graph f of x, right? This is for values of x that are very, very close to 0. Now, let's say we could get down to like a fundamental level and we could see that, let's say we had, you know, this value here, right? Let's say we had these four um, values. And at these values, which are rational, the function x squared had certain values, right? Here, 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 and here, right? So we can see, right, that these values are approaching zero, right? I didn't write them the best, right? Maybe raise them up a little bit, just so it's a little bit clearer that this x squared function but we're very zoomed in, so it doesn't really matter. Let's just say for all other values, it's irrational, right? So we have this value, and then it drops down, and it's zero. And then this, and it's back down, and it's zero. We can think of it as this general shape, right? Where we are mostly at zero, and then we jump up for every rational number. Now, are there more rational numbers or irrational numbers? It doesn't really matter. Right? If it's like 99.99999% irrational, right, it's basically it's going to look like this, right? with maybe one jump up every so often, and like that. Or if it's like almost all rational, then it would look like this, with maybe one jump down, and like that. In all of these cases, right, where there's almost no irrational numbers, almost all irrational numbers, or a mix in between, we can see that the value is approaching zero no matter what. I hope this graphical approach um, made sense because one, we can answer it without knowing anything about the relationship between how many rational numbers are there and how many irrational numbers are there as we get closer and closer to zero. And also it's sort of hard to comprehend, right, with these numbers, um, what it actually means for X to be rational or irrational as we're approaching it. Um, I think seeing it as like bouncing back and forth um, is helpful. And one way to think about this in terms of the actual algebraic ramifications of it is we can say the limit as x approaches zero for rational numbers and the limit as x approaches zero for irrational numbers. Think of this as like from the left and the right. If both of these match, then we know as we approach zero on x, f of x is gonna approach zero. Because it means for any number that you plug in, as we're getting closer and closer to zero, it's going to approach zero, no matter whether it's this type of number or this type. So for rational numbers, um, this is the limit as x approaches zero of x squared, which is zero squared, which is zero. And for irrational numbers, it's just zero. And since rational numbers and irrational numbers ap approach the same value, we can say that the limit as x approaches zero of f of x equals zero. And this is the physical representation, the algebraic representation of the graphical um, approximation of what's actually going on.